Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanne and in this video I want to just have a sit down conversation sort of style about the latest coach releases. I notice of course throughout all brands they seem to release a ton of different pieces constantly and coach is definitely no different. I'd say coach and longchamp are probably the two brands that I follow the closest and I do check up quite frequently in terms of their new releases. So there's quite a few to go through and I'm definitely not going to cover all of them. So I I've just kind of gone through and selected a few pieces that I would thought I would share my thoughts on and I would love to hear what you are thinking of as well. So I'm going to start off with the tweed collection. I do think this is so cute. I love the look of tweed and all of that but I have to say I have owned some bags in tweed before in the past and I just found myself never really gravitating towards them so I've definitely learned my lessons and I'm definitely not going to pick up anything from this collection but I do appreciate it and I think it's really cute. Interestingly enough, I'm definitely a silver hardware girl, but I would say I kind of think I would have preferred this in uh, gold hardware. So I, I'm trying to imagine what it would look like, but I think with like the warmer, like the yellows and the pinks within the tweed, I think it would have looked really nice with a warmer hardware to go with it. Next, I'm just going to touch on the Valentine's bags that they seem to have come out with. So it looks like they came with a variety of bags, some Cassie 19s, um, of course, some heart crossbody bags and those sorts of things. Um, I'm definitely not into any of the bags that they've released. I'm not a bright pink or red person. I don't wear those colors very often. I just don't really love wearing those colors. I think they're really cute and very fitting for Valentine's, but definitely not something I'm going to be picking up. I do have to say the heart chains on the Casting 19s are so cute though. I, again, wouldn't purchase it for myself, but I think they were really well done and I think they were really nice. Although I'm very curious to see how comfortable they would actually be to wear on like a regular chain. So that would be interesting to see. And in terms of the heart um, bags, I think these are so popular. I've seen, of course, within the luxury space as well as the contemporary space, so many brands have released and are still releasing these heart bags. They are cute, but they are definitely not for me. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just to me feels a little bit juvenile and so I don't particularly like them. Of course, with the odd shape, it's hard to fit things in the bags anyways. So definitely not something for me, but I do appreciate that other people do really like the heart bags and I can see why. Like they're very cute if you like that style. A couple other bags that they released, of course, is the uh, Broom Carryall and I really like this. I think these bags would be wonderful bags for work, both I think the smaller and the larger size. Definitely, of course, if you want to use it as a daily work bag to fit like multiple things like your laptop I think and like notebooks and all that stuff you'd probably definitely want to go with the larger size um, I'm going to stop myself from purchasing one of these I have definitely enough work bags uh, that could last me quite a long time and I'm trying to stop myself from getting like tote bags or other larger work bags when I mainly gravitate to the ones that I already have so not going to grab one of those, but I do think those are really nice. And then of course they released the cargo shoulder and sock tabbies and these are definitely not my style in particular. I think I don't particularly always love like a ton of buckles and rivets, but I do think these look like they're well made and I do appreciate the style of it as well. So I think if you're into that, I think these would be very good options uh, to consider. And finally, the last one that I'm going to touch on is the quilted tabby bag. So this one is kind of, I, I saw them come out when they had the runway for, I think it's the spring, summer 2024. So when they had it and they had like the limited um, buy now from the runway sort of collection and they did have the quilted tabbies. And I kind of looked at them, but I think it was mostly because of the colorway that they came out with. I think a pink, a purple, black and definitely like the lip uh, pattern on the bag and I really I liked them but I think I, I just didn't pay too much attention to them and then now that they've just recently uh, come out with them again in the size 20 in the buff color as well as moss and of course other colors in the other sizes those have instantly caught my eye. So um, of course they came out with small size being the wristlet and it looks like they have the 20, 26 and the 33 size. I am not interested in the larger sizes. To me, I think the chain strap, although I really like the look of it, I think 
the bigger it goes, the heavier the bag is, especially if you stick more things in it. And I feel like that would just be really uncomfortable. Also, I'm really petite. I'm 5'2 and I'm quite slim. So I think those are just always a little bit overwhelming on me. And I don't carry that many things with me. So I really don't need too much space. So for me, I think the 20 is going to be the absolute perfect size. And the two colors that I'm really interested in purchasing is definitely buff as well as moss. I'm interested to see what they look like in person because I do find the colors on the coach website are not always the most accurate. Um, I feel like sometimes they lighten it up a little bit. So for instance, I know I'm just talking about bags for this video, but um, I did see that they had some cute um, zip around like quilted uh, card holders and I thought they were really cute and I saw the pink and I was like oh, that's really cute I think I might want to get that but then I was like okay wait let me see if I can see anything else from their collection or past bags or SLGs in that color so I looked it up and it was petunia and so I really love what it looks like to me on the website but based on pictures and videos and everything of past bags that they have in that same color it is definitely not a pink that i like so for me what it looks like online i think they usually lighten it quite a bit um although it's opposite for some colors so i i really get confused so um i changed my mind after i saw what petunia looked like for other bags they have previously released and so i'm definitely not going to get that but I would love it if they did release other colors as well I know they currently have it in moss um, but I don't know I'm trying to again limit myself for this year and it's funny because I just did a wishlist uh, video and of course I am adding the quilted tabby 20 now to my wishlist in buff and moss uh, but we will see what happens in the future and if we do end up pulling the trigger and purchasing either of those bags in those colors. Um, aside from that, I think the wristlet size is really cute. It would be really great as like a, a event bag, something like small enough like a clutch or something like that, but it also comes I think with a chain strap. So I think that would be really nice. But I think it's in terms of the sizing, I'd probably just again gravitate to the 20. So yeah, that's just a really quick commentary and my thoughts on some of the latest releases from Coach. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about the releases and what you're thinking of. They have so many other bags on their website that they've just released and I'm sure within the new future they are going to release even additional bags. So we'll see. I'm going to wait it out and hopefully uh, maybe I can eventually grab them on sale. That would be ideal. But yeah, other than that, thank you as always for watching my videos and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Aside from that, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.